What are controlled components? In React, a controlled component is one where the form data is controlled by React state. This means React is in charge of keeping track of the input value, and whenever the value changes, React updates the state. Think of it like this. You're telling React, I'll control what's in that input field. Example of a controlled component. Let's look at an example, a simple text input. First, create a new file inside your src slash components folder called controlledinput.js. Here's what we'll write in it. Import react, use state from react. Function controlled input, const input value, set input value equals use state. Const handle change eventy, set input value, event.target value. Return div h controlled input, input type text value equals input value, on change equals handle change. You typed input value in with. Export default controlled input. Let's break it down. We use use state to keep track of the input value in the state. The input element's value is set to input value, meaning React is controlling the input's value. Every time you type something, the onChange event fires, and the handleChange function updates the state with set input value. So the state is the single source of truth for the input's value. What are uncontrolled components? Now let's talk about uncontrolled components. In contrast to controlled components, uncontrolled components let the DOM handle the form data. React doesn't manage the value of the input. Instead, it lets the browser keep track of the input's value, and React accesses it only when needed. Think of it like this. React says, I won't control that input field. The browser will. Example of an uncontrolled component. Let's create another file in sar slash components called uncontrolledinput.js. Here's the code. To import React, use ref from React. Function uncontrolled input, const input ref equals use ref. Const handle submit equal event equals event prevent default alert you typed input ref dot current value. Return div uncontrolled input form on submit ilfmit input refix input ref type text button submit. Export default uncontrolled input. Let's break this down too. We use use ref here to create a reference to the input field. When the form is submitted, we use input ref dot current dot value to access the value of the input field directly from the DOM. Notice that we're not using use state here. React is not in charge of keeping track of the input's value. The DOM is handling it, and we're just reading the value when we need it. Okay, so when should you use controlled components, and when should you use uncontrolled components? Controlled components are usually the way to go for most use cases. They give you more control over the input. And since React manages the state, you can easily validate and manipulate data before submission. Uncontrolled components are useful when you don't need to keep track of the input value, or when you're integrating with third-party libraries that use the DOM directly. For most cases, especially when you're dealing with forms, controlled components are the better option because they fit nicely with React's declarative nature. Let's check this out in action. One. Open your app.js. 2. Import both components. JSX import React from React. Import controlled input from slash components controlled input. Import uncontrolled input from slash components uncontrolled input. Function app return div h1. Welcome to code with meet uncontrolled input div. Export default app. Save your files and go to your browser at http clash slash localhost 3000 you'll see both controlled input and uncontrolled input components. For the controlled input, type something, and the text below it will update in real time. For the uncontrolled input, type something and hit submit. You'll see an alert with the input value. As always, this is Code With Me. Happy coding, and see you in the next one.